craft tutorial, my second craft tutorial. Um, a lot of people had messaged and asked about me doing a knot band craft tutorial, which I will do next time. I'm going to do a velvet uh, knot band tutorial next time, but first I wanted to show you how to make something that doesn't require a sewing machine. So I'm going to make um, a bow, a hair bow, on an alligator clip. So you don't require a sewing machine for this at all. All you need is some fabric. Um, any, You can do it with any fabric. I'm going to use cotton because it's quite nice to work with. So I've chosen a nice rainbowy um, animal print there. Um, you want to choose probably, if you're going to go for one with a print, I mean you can choose a plain fabric, you could do velvet, you could do sequin. Um, but if you're going to go for one with a print, you want the print to be quite small because if you go for like a really big, um, say like a really big flower, then when you fold it up and you actually make the bow, you're not going to really see the print very well. So you want to choose something that's got a small print. So that's why I've gone for this kind of leopard print uh, fabric there. So you need fabric, you need um, some scissors. You're going to need a um, hot melt glue gun and you're going to need um, an alligator clip. So I use, um, for my hair bows, a 45 millimeter alligator clip and you can get them on eBay. You can get them lots of places, but I usually just buy mine from eBay. You can get them in a pack of however many you want, really. Um, yeah, so fabric, scissors, alligator clip and glue gun. Um, Hobbycraft is great for, for fabrics and for glue guns. Another place that's really good if you're in the UK for fabric, um, if you don't need much, if you just want to be fat quarter, which would be more than enough for a couple of hair bows, is Aldi. Aldi often have some quite cute fat quarters for cheap. Um, glue guns you can get from Hobbycraft. Places are not open at the moment in the UK because, as you know, we are in another lockdown. However, you can get them on Amazon. Um, I've always bought my glue guns on Amazon. There's loads of different ones on there. The one that I am using at the moment, the brand is B-Way. Um, you don't need a huge glue gun like this. You could use a mini glue gun, but I use my glue gun a lot. So um, I have a big, a big giant one. So that is all you need um, and we're ready to make it. So I've done quite a lot of experimenting with different sizes and the size that I've found works the best for my hair bows is 26 centimetres length and 20 centimetres width and then you'll also need just a small piece here and that is 5 by 10 centimetres. So what you're going to do want to do first is turn it up with your wrong side facing you and just fold it just to roughly get your center line and that's where you're going to run your first line of glue so little strip of glue there and fold it to the middle And then again, another line of glue. And fold it to the middle. This is super easy to do. And they make nice little gifts. Let's pop another bit of glue in there. Then you're going to fold it again. This time to get your middle line there. A little line of glue on that side. Fold it over. And then again, same on the other side. And fold it over. And that gives you the start of your bow. 
Then we're going to get our centre strip ready. So again, just pop a little line of glue down the middle. If you can hear anything in the background, it's my husband and son playing Zelda <laughs> on the switch. Hopefully they're not too loud. And then another line of glue. And then you're going to fold that one over. And then that's your that's going to be the centre of your bow. So that's that ready. So the way you want to fold the bow is kind of like how you would have made like a paper fan when you were young. Do you remember doing those? So what you want to do is um, have it start it with the wrong side facing you where you've got where you've glued it. And you want to fold that in the way. And you want to fold it just so you get about five folds. So that way. And then flip it over and fold it back on itself. That's two. Flip it over and fold it back on itself. That's three. Flip it over again. Back on itself. That's four. And then the last one is five. Some people like to tie it up with string, but I like to just string with thread or string, I guess. Um, but I like to just secure it with a wee bit of glue. Like that. And then the same on the back. Just secure it with a little bit of glue. And then you're ready to put the centre round and attach your alligator clip. So now we're ready to attach the alligator clip and this is the fiddly bit. So what you want to do first is just put a little bit of glue just on the centre of the back of the alligator clip. Not too much, just a wee bit. Just like that. And you want to place that right on the centre of the back of your bow. Like that. Then it's time to attach this. So you want to open your alligator clip and put a dot of glue right on the inside there and you're going to place your fabric right onto the centre like that. This is the fiddly bit. So a little bit of glue Oops. and then you want to Place that right onto the centre there. That looks okay. And then you're going to wrap it round the front. So, pop some glue on the front and wrap it over. I like to make sure it's nice and secure so I'll also put another little spot of glue there and wrap it over nice and tight and then all you want to do is fold it over to roughly measure how much you're going to need left to glue it into the centre and then you just want to trim the rest off 
<coughs> you can always trim it down a bit more after you've done it. So again, open up your clip. It's really quite tricky to show you. Open up your clip, put some glue along there. Oops, doesn't want to balance. And then fold this, tuck this in to the middle of your clip. There we go. I'm just going to run a tiny little extra strip of glue along here just to make sure that's really secure. Wait for it to dry. And there we are. There is one cotton fabric hair bow with an alligator clip. How easy is that? There we go, so hopefully that was quite quick and easy to follow. They're quite simple to do. As I said, you can do them with any fabric. Velvet would be nice, sequin would be nice. Um, but the cotton's just nice and easy to work with and you can get so many different fun prints. Um, so you can put it in the side of your hair or I like to do like a ponytail or a bun and clip it on the back of the ponytail. You could do um, two smaller ones and do like pigtails and clip them at the bottom of your pigtails. Um, but yeah, super fun and easy to do. So I hope you enjoyed my second tutorial and I will be back soon with knot bands. Um, I've been making some velvet ones in all kinds of fun spring colours so I promise I will be back to show you how to make them um, next. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.